and welcome to this Facebook Live edition of The Secret to Getting Rid of Scorch Marks. I'm Courtney Cabezza with Stalls TV and I'm excited to share some information with you guys that completely solves a challenge that a lot of heat printers and a lot of apparel decorators have when it comes to printing performance wear. Performance wear will always be the top selling fabric for 2018. We saw it throughout the 2017, 2016, and it's just, it's nonstop. All that we've seen really is the growth in active wear, the increase in polyester garments and blends entering into the marketplace. So as a decorator, we really can gain a lot of um, benefit and a lot of opportunity by being able to print this successfully. In the past, we've shared a lot of insight that I'm going to re, uh, reiterate today about how to successfully get rid of scorch marks by reducing the temperature and um, taking away a lot of the heat from the fabric because as we know, those heat sensitive garments can't take high heat of older heat transfers and so there's a lot of new transfers that are available today that will allow you to get rid of those scorch marks. I'm also going to share a new innovation with you today that's going to change the way that we print performance wear and it's going to help to completely eliminate those scorch marks and so I'm excited to share that with you guys here today. So to get started I'm going to head over to the heat press and we can take a look at this innovation paired with some of these low temperature transfers. So when it comes to printing things like performance wear, blends, um, some of the most challenging garments tend to be these dark colored performance shirts, maybe they're charcoal, black, navy, maroon. These colored garments are where you really start to see the shine in the garment. And what happens is the fabrics are incredibly heat sensitive and so when you take a higher heat, it often leaves a shine mark. So if you've seen these marks on your apparel, go ahead and comment in now. What you're going to see is it's usually a shiny um, gloss mark and when you wash the garment, it doesn't go away. And so what we want to do is we want to take the heat of our heat transfer and reduce it somewhere below 300 degrees. You never want to heat pressure performance wear above 300 degrees. Now a lot of these transfers will even apply as low as 280 degrees so it helps to give you an even lower temperature with the application. Today I'm going to be using the auto clam paired with the lower heated platen. So this is a new innovation from Hotronics that we've showed here a couple of times on the Stalls TV Morning Show on Facebook Live and I wanted to really focus on it today as we're currently taking pre-orders to ship in the beginning of the new year and I think it's a perfect um, item for you to get for your Christmas list and really to set you apart for 2018 as the new year enters. Um, and so this lower heated platen, the, basically the way it works, it's hot so I'm not going to pull it out now, but just like all of our platens on the interchangeable um, all the interchangeable platens on the Hotronics heat presses. This is interchangeable so it completely pops out, drops back in and so you're able to um, switch this out just as easily. No tools needed. Um, it's just a simple platen that you add to your clam heat press. And so this um, actually has a separate control that I'm going to show you over here that operates the heated platen. So just like your heater on the top, this has its own control and has its own heating element that winds in throughout the um, machine underneath this Teflon coated cover. And so we're going to set this here at 300 degrees and then we'll go ahead and move um, to the main part of the heat press that we have set at 200 degrees. So what this is going to do is that heating element on the bottom that's heated up at 300 degrees and the heating element at the top which is at 200 degrees are going to meet in the middle and create a melting point that's about 265 degrees and that's the perfect melting point for a lot of heat transfer vinyls. And so that's how we're going to use this application here today. And we're going to pair it with a lot of the low temperature transfer. So to start, I'm going to start with the ElastiPrint screen printed transfer. This is a screen printed transfer that's available from Transfer Express and it has a low temperature adhesive. So if you are familiar with their Goof Proof, which is their most popular ink type, this is a low temperature alternative. So it allows you to go down to 300 degrees for a lower dwell time. Now I'm going to press this for 8 seconds at 300 degrees for this application and now to start when you use this lower platen, one thing that's very important is that you need to use the threading method. And so that's what helps with me having this caddy underneath here so I can split this open and thread my shirt directly onto my heat press platen. And now you can notice I'm touching this and so it's not incredibly hot to where I'm worried about any kind of um, burning or any kind of scorch or any kind of um, issues with that. So it's still what I would consider a cool heat if that makes sense. So it's actually more of a soft heat to where it's not going to burn anybody. This actually also helps to take away any kind of preheat because the garment's already heated up, moisture's already been released because of the heat coming from throughout the platen. But it's incredibly important to make sure you're threading that. Adding that additional layer, if I just laid it directly on top with both um, layers, the front and the back, can drastically change the application because remember, we're going to be heating that adhesive from behind the garment. Now that I have my shirt threaded and loaded on, I'm going to line up 
my completed transfer going about four inches down from the top of my shirt. And then I'm going to apply this at the temperature of 300 degrees in the lower platen, 200 degrees on the top platen for eight seconds at a firm pressure. So see a few of you coming in have had issues with scorch marks. It's definitely incredibly frustrating. Now you'll notice what I did immediately is I pulled the shirt directly off of that heated platen. We are heating from both angles. So where a lot of the times when you press your garments, you leave them sit on there because that bottom platen is cool, that's fine. Because this is continuing to heat that adhesive, you want to make sure to remove it from the lower platen and let it cool completely before you peel back that carrier because if you leave it on there, it's not going to be cooling down because that heat is underneath there. Once we have it cooled down completely, I'll go ahead and put it up here so we can peel back the paper of the elasti print so it releases my elasti print transfer. And you guys can see this is an incredibly difficult shirt to press because of the charcoal coloring and we're not seeing any kind of scorch marks in the way because we're heating it at that different application. So what happens a lot, what causes those scorch marks is, let's say even at 300 degrees or 320 degrees, that heat goes down on the top of that fabric and it's scorching it. But by doing it this way, the top heat is only at 200 degrees. You're heating it mostly from the bottom, which is going directly to the adhesive. And so it's helping to avoid any of those scorch marks while still giving you a quality product. And so this is um, ElastiPrint printed with a lower heated platen. In the Facebook link, I, or in the Facebook description, I did include a link, so if you want to learn more about the lower heated platen or pre-order, you can certainly do that. But let's look at it with a couple other heat transfer options. So that was a screen printed transfer. If you watch our Facebook Live or tune into any of our videos for Stalls TV, you know that screen printed transfers are great for larger quantities, fine detail, uh, one to three color range. Um, now I'm going to look at a low transfer option for full color. So one of the great things about the heat transfers that we offer from Stalls is that we have a low, low temperature adhesive option for pretty much any logo type. So this is what is um, I would call Super Tech Foil Tech um, or Super Foil Tech. Anything in the tech line, Super Tech Opaque, Super Tech Sublistop, uh, Foil Tech, they all apply at a lower temperature. Again. Same thing, I'm going to make sure I thread this on so I'm separating the layers. That way the heat from the bottom doesn't have to work too much to get through to that adhesive. And that way this lower application will work. So I'm threading this on, always removing seams, collars. One thing that's really, really important with performance wear in general uh, when you're printing it is to get seams off of the platen because we often see that that causes too much pressure and can gloss up those areas. So the flatter the print surface, the better for your applications. Once I have that loaded on there, I don't need to preheat because remember that's heating it up from behind here. I'm going to take the foil tech from the Stalls tech line, line it up here as a left chest logo. So I'm going about three to four inches over from the center of my shirt, about three to four inches down. I am going to cover this with a cover sheet. Whenever I go to some transfers like um, the foil tech line where it has a very thin carrier, I want to make sure to use that cover sheet to help protect it from curling underneath the heat of the heat press. Now screen printed transfers don't require that, which is why I hadn't used it before. Again, I want to immediately remove my shirt from the press. I'm laying it here on the side, letting it cool down just for a few seconds to let that adhesive set since it was heated from behind. And this can be peeled warm, so I'm just going to peel that uh, clear carrier back. And we have a completed design here with the um, Sublistop product. So again, helps to reduce scorch marks with even these low temperature options. So this would be Super Tech. You can order that as a roll if you own a print cut system and print your own full color logos. Or you can always get it in the Cadbridge Digital Transfer. So we print all of that for you too if you don't want to do it yourself, which is a great offering. Okay, so for the last one, I want to show some heat transfer vinyl options because we know a lot of you here on Facebook Live own vinyl cutters and you want to see these options as well. So I have two alternatives and I'm going to press it on a maroon shirt. So um, Premium Plus and I have Glitter Flake. I'm going to let you guys choose on which one you would like to see. So go ahead and type in now in the comment sections if you want to see Premium Plus or Glitter Flake and then whatever um, we see most comments coming in for, we'll go ahead and we will use that one. But you'll notice that I'm going to be using a maroon shirt. 
This is probably one of the most challenging garments that we have printed here at the Stalls TV studio because this garment has that dark color where a lot of the scorch marks um, are going to be shown. And so whenever you move, a lot of the times we used to tell decorators that um, I would recommend just go ahead and use a lighter color like the heathered garment I just shown. Um, but that always limits you on what you can show to your customers. And if you're going to be an apparel decorator and you're going to master and you're going to own the performance or market, then this allows you to print any color performance or fabric, any type of performance or fabric without the issues of scorch marks. So you don't have to talk your cu customers out of a black performance wear shirt into a heather gray or a white shirt. Um, so it works really well that way. Um, so I'm seeing some glitter, some premium plus. Gosh, you guys are about split here on what you want to see. Um, a couple, we got a couple glitters coming in towards the end, so it may be pulling away. Um, I see a both, um, so I may be able to print the front and the back. That's probably the best way to do it. That way, you guys, everybody wins that way. So I'll start with the glitter on the front here because I know printing glitter at a lower temperature is a huge challenge. So we want to make sure that we. Um, have the ability to offer glitter on these performance fabrics without scorching. So think about those dark black track jackets for your dance teams or your cheer squads. That is a huge opportunity using this lower platen. So I'm going to line up my glitter flake. Again, I'm just going to use that cover sheet to help to um, protect my transfer. I'm going to press it for eight seconds, same temperature, so I'm leaving it 200 degrees at the top, 300 degrees for that lower bottom platen. Again, I'll just peel this, pull this off immediately. Um, glitter flake is a hot peel, so I can let it cool down. Or uh, it's a hot or cold peel, so I could peel it hot or cold. I'm just going to peel it from this corner here so you guys can kind of see it. Release, so you're noticing um, clean release on the glitter flake. Also, we're eliminating any scorch marks here, so you're seeing that very difficult maroon shirt. No scorch marks um, printed on that. So that's the beauty of being able to hit that very, very low melting point. And if you didn't know it already, we did actually just drop the application on CAD Cut Glitter Flake to 300 degrees. So that already drops the temperature down if you're just looking for a, a lower alternative. A lot of other glitter heat transfer vinyls are up at 320 degrees. So it gives you a little bit of room for some of these performance fabrics too if you don't have the lower heated platen. Now I'm going to go ahead and load this back on for the back, give it a second to preheat, and we'll do the Premium Plus. So CAD Cut Premium Plus is a product uh, that applies at 280 degrees, perfect for performance wear applications like we're doing here. I see a question coming in, if you don't have the lower, lower bottom platen, do you just adjust the temperature when using a cover sheet. I've used cover sheets without scorch marks. Um, so Kimberly, that's a great comment there. Um, certainly want to make sure that you're using a transfer that's designed to apply at the temperature that you're applying it at. Um, and I'm going to press this so it doesn't sit on there too long. Um, but you want to make sure that you are using a transfer that is designed to apply at that temperature. So I would never recommend taking something like um, thermofilm or goof proof that are recommended at a higher temperature and dropping the temperature. I'd want, I would want to go with an adhesive like Premium Plus or Super Tech or um, elastic prints that are designed at that lower temperature. Using a cover sheet can help to prevent scorching on um, performance wear because it takes a little bit of the heat off and makes it more of a softer heat than a harder um, heat on the garment. So it's definitely good to use a cover sheet every time, but it's not always as um, a guaranteed solution, just like working with low temperatures. So this helps to give you more of a, a guaranteed solution for, for really, really challenging garments. Um, Gina asks, could you still tack things down for multiple layers? Um, Gina, when it comes to a lot of these stretch performance garments, I wouldn't do too much of the tacking. With Glitter Flake, you could tack for about five seconds and be able to release the carrier, but you're going to want to make sure to seal it for the entire time. Um, personally, I don't recommend doing a lot of tacking with products like Premium Plus because of that high stretch on the performance garments. That can make it pretty difficult to line up your second color if you're doing a lot of like contour cutting and things like that. Um, Donna asked, is part of the design missing on the ball? It may have been. I may have potentially misweeded. Uh, yes, it's definitely missing just simply because I must have lost it in weeding, so it wasn't left on the carrier. Um, I apparently just must have lost it in transition between where we weed our transfers and where I brought it into the studio. I am going to peel the uh, Premium Plus since it's cooled down now. Actually, may have let it cool way too long. Let me go ahead and reload this back on and press that. 
make sure the application was accurate since I've been answering some questions and talking throughout. Uh, da -da. Couple questions. What material is the shirt? These are all 100% polyester garments. They're all from Sanmar, um, so they're part of their Sport Tech product line. Give it a second to cool here. Actually, looks like I'm peeling up a little bit here, so I'm starting to really pull that. So you're going to want to make sure to get an accurate pressure and application on that. I think from letting it sit on the uh, adhesive too long when I was answering the question, it just let it, you want to move pretty quickly on that lower platen cover. Um, will this platen, will this platen be able to put goof proof design on performance fabrics? Um, Sammy, we're not actually sure about using goof proof with performance fabrics just yet. We haven't tested that. We do know it works with the elastic print, so um, stay tuned. We're definitely working on dialing in the perfect application for all of Stahl's products with this lower heat platen, so we should have that shortly after the new year when the platen is launched for good. So um, definitely some exciting things coming there. Uh, when doing sublimated performance work, Kim, ask what material would be best looking for a minimal hand. So decorating sublimated performance work can be incredibly challenging because of the dyes that can release through. Um, today, currently, the only product I know that will definitely block it from a heat transfer standpoint is the CAD cut silicone. It definitely has a bit of a hand. It's about 200 microns thick, um, so it has more of a rubber texture. It's not a matte type of finish. Um, so that's the only guaranteed solution today, but of course in 2018 we have a lot of innovations coming. So if you've stayed close to Ted Stahl's blog or the Stahl's blog, you've probably seen some new products that are going to be coming out in 2018 that are going to have a really soft, minimal hand like a screen print ink, but are going to block dye migration. So stay tuned here to the Facebook page. We'll make sure to let you know when that is available for sure. Um, looks like I've got most of the questions that have come in. So. We're excited to bring this to you guys. Like I had mentioned, there's a link in the uh, description here above the video where you can go ahead and pre-order or learn more information for the lower heated platen. The top solutions that I would recommend when you're printing performance wear is to always start with a low temperature product, 300 degrees or below. The lower temperature you can get, the more successful you'll be at reducing scorch marks. Secondly, always make sure to get a flat, even print surface um, across your area, so you want to make sure to get pressure that is accurate across all of the items, getting all your seams off to avoid scorch marks there. And lastly, um, really if you want to kind of command the authority with any type of performance where I'd consider looking at the lower platen um, for your press. It's currently only available for the auto clamp style right now, but we will have it available in the future for other heat press models from Hotronics. Um, Larry had asked, will it also work on a smaller platen? So currently the style um, available for this is only 16 by 20. So um, right now we only have that size, but of course we're going to have more available just like we do with all of the interchangeable options that you have available from stalls with the Hotronics heat presses. And Lisa, the shirts were from Stanmar. And so Stanmar has a really great sport tech line, which is where all of these are from. Um, just really good quality, always trendy, and they are um, inexpensive as well. So it allows you to make a lot of profit, which is why we always recommend those to our customers. Um, looks like so far I have gotten all of the questions. So appreciate you guys joining me today for Facebook Live. Take a look at the lower heated platen and stay tuned to stalls here at the Facebook page for more innovations with performance wear in 2018. Thanks for joining me.